Up until last year, the Freemasons of Bath were enjoying their meetings and dinners, parading through Bath and opening their doors to the public for guided tours of the magnificent building. But then, on Saturday the 22nd of March, everything changed. Bath is a city of great beauty and wealth, but still has more than its fair share of deprived areas where food poverty is a major problem. As you can imagine, situations like these were only exacerbated when the current pandemic crisis began in March this year. At Bath Masonic Hall, there is a commercial kitchen run by a professional chef. It was shut down at the end of February. In April, Bath Freemasons decided to open it back up for the preparation and supply of ready meals for distribution daily to vulnerable citizens in Bath, free of charge at the point of delivery. They particularly targeted over 65s with serious care issues who had been instructed to self-isolate for the next 10 weeks and also families lacking the resources to feed themselves adequately and hence their children being more reliant on regular school meals. They partnered with local charities and the local authorities department who were already providing similar services and therefore had known potential clients for such a regular meal service. Their caterer, Ben Hayward, developed simple menu plans for meals that are flavoursome, in line with nutritional guidance for the demographic. Simple to prepare in the kitchen, using inexpensive and readily available ingredients, a package ready for supply to be reheated, microwaved by the recipient. Bath Masonic Hall Trust committed the start-up funds to commence the ordering and supply of the raw materials and maintaining a base level of 250 meals a week for the first few weeks. An appeal was then launched to the membership, who then raised further funds within the fraternity in Bath, which were match-funded by two national Masonic charities, the Masonic Charity Foundation and the Mark Benevolent Fund. This enabled production to be raised to over 600 meals a week. Altogether, £40,000 has been raised to finance this project, which, since April, has delivered over 14,000 meals in Bath, plus outlying areas including Canesham, Midsummer Norton and Radstock. Do you want carrot or chocolate? Yeah, I would choose the chocolate. You've already referenced the special situation we're in now with Covid. So, Alison, just talking about the Freemason Square meals mm -hmm. that have been provided for your facility, what, what difference have they made in terms of the service you're able to provide? Well, they turned up at just the right time when I was struggling with enough meat and meals for families. And they mean that families who are struggling, especially when they were homeschooling the children, they could pop one in the microwave at lunchtime. They knew they had a good meal for them. I've also had one family whose children wouldn't touch vegetables, so they tried everything and then they took some of the vegetable packs one week and their kids now ask for them as a treat because they see them as a takeaway. So it's not just about physical health, it's also about mental health it's, because it's about eradicating stress and the worry. It is and when you're suddenly trying, you know, they've been trying to homeschool their kids in tiny apartments and everything and to not have to worry about the meal at the end of the day has made a big difference and again families have tried food that they wouldn't before we've got a lot of children who their parents come here and their children with additional needs they've maybe got sensory issues and there's lots of food they won't try or well, the ready meals they've been able to try foods that they wouldn't before and they've discovered they like them as well so that's a win for the whole family. Just how important, how big an impact is this facility having on local families? I know without a doubt, Johnny, that families would go hungry without this and all the other facilities around at the moment. So the numbers are very simple. In the last five months, the Freemasons of Bath have provided over 25,000 healthy meals, impacting hugely on the life and the health of over 2,000 people. Now, not only is that money really well spent, but it also highlights just why this support must continue.